you guys, this is my second upload of this video. Um, I had to get my thoughts together and um, pray to the Lord a little bit about it. But he gave me the go ahead to talk to you about this. I had a dream yesterday that Obama was holding a large press conference. And I believe he was in the Pentagon or the White House. He was holding a large press conference saying that the elections for 2016 was delayed or postponed or something like that. It's going to be postponed. And uh, the time frame was an undefined amount of time. He didn't have a time frame. He said it was postponed until further notice. That he was going to take full control. That Congress was dissolved. The Constitution was dissolved due to a catastrophic event. And... Um, the people were, um, I remember, it's like I was shown an aerial view of different people in their homes and they were staring at their TV in shock, like I can't believe this is happening, this is actually here. So he took full power for some reason and the dream ended. Now, um, according to the Constitution, if a catastrophic event happens, it could be like a bad earthquake, weather, hurricane, asteroid hitting the planet, volcanic eruptions, even a major war, at that point, the president can stop the Constitution. They can um, suspend, I don't know about suspending the Constitution. I believe they can. I have to double check that. But I know for a fact the Constitution says that they can cancel elections and uh, they can even dissolve. Um, they could temporarily, I believe, suspend the Constitution. Again, I have to look at that. But they can cancel elections. Um I believe in some cases they can even dissolve Congress and dissolve uh, the Constitution in case of a catastrophic event. I believe so. Um, this is scary because, uh, you know, Obama wants that to happen. He wants to dissolve the Constitution. He wants to dissolve the Congress. He wants to dissolve... The elections. He doesn't want. He doesn't want another president in office. He wants to stay in office. He wants to be ultimately the dictator. And this guy is treasonous. Okay. He wants to be a dictator. You can tell by his actions because of the simple fact that whenever he makes a decision, he does it without, with or without Congress's say. For example, when he sent troops to Saudi Arabia. I'm sorry, not Saudi Arabia. But, um, Iraq and Syria. It it was without Congress's approval. He did it. He just did it anyway. Um, he's breaking laws left and right. He wasn't supposed to open up the borders the way that he did, and attack our Second Amendment rights and attack um, the rights for religious freedom. I mean, when this guy took um, the presidential office and was inaugurated, he swore to uphold the Constitution and to protect it as well. And he's breaking that. That's treasonous alone. But they don't do anything. They still keep him in office. But I believe that. He is looking for the right time, the right opportunity, so he can grab it and use that as a means to stay in office, to spend the Constitution, the elections, to spend um, even Congress. Now, I told you guys about a dream that I had before that I was shown. First, I was shown Jay Helm, something like that. And then I was shown uh, July... 15, I don't know if it was 2015 or 2016, but the hours were 7.38 p.m. to 8.38 p.m. And I'll never forget it. Now, Jade Helm represents preparation for war. You all know that. And its agenda is a New World Order Type B system where, um, I said, New World Order Type B system. The elites want the Antichrist to reign eventually. They want that. And um, the New World, the Jade Helm ideology is for human prosperity, to go beyond the human means. You know, that satanic ideology for the humans to go beyond what they're meant to be, go beyond their capabilities so they can be like God, like a God, seeing both good and evil. Remember what it's how, how uh, Satan tempted Eve in the garden, saying that if you want to be like, if you eat, eat of the fruit of knowledge, and you'll be like God, seeing both good and evil. Okay? So, they want 
you know, they, they want, they believe that humans should be their own gods, that humans have their own potential. They don't need Jesus Christ, and that is not true. You know, the elites believe that, that there's some kind of gods, that humans are gods, and that they can control the population. That's what they want, okay, eventually. That's the New World Order system. But I'm going to get back to what I'm saying. I believe that Jade Helm represents preparation for a greater war that will lead to the New World Order, okay? Um, I also believe that it represents, um, like I said, preparation for war and a major war coming up. Now, if I take that and I piece it together with this dream, I'm not stating this as fact, okay? But I believe that Obama wants to escalate the global war that's going on now. So he can use that as an opportunity to dissolve Congress, to dissolve the Constitution, and to dissolve, um, to dissolve, oh, to dissolve the elections. This is not good, ladies and gentlemen. This is something that I feel in my spirit. So I went to Jesus, excuse me, and I prayed about these two things. The Lord said he can only reveal what he feels I should know, which I agree. He also said that a lot of things are going to take place. For example, the tensions in Middle East will arise. I mean, it will increase like never before, especially the violence in Israel. It's gonna, it's not going to get any better. It's going to get even a whole lot worse. Um, the war in the Middle East is where the, I believe, where World War Three is supposed to start. It's either going to be the one of the major battlegrounds. But it's where it's supposed to start. And believe it or not, World War Three did start there. I mean, World War Three has been happening. It began, if you do your homework, <laughs> it began a couple of years ago, if you do your homework. At least a, a year, roughly over a year ago it began. If you do your homework, you've got to do your homework and research it for yourself. You'd be surprised how much you missed out on. The mainstream media news is not telling the public anything about the global war. They're not telling them anything. They're keeping them sleeping. But we are at world war, and they're not saying nothing. They're keeping the, the masses sleeping. A few people suspect, though, even those that are not believers, that we are in world war. Because they talk about it at my job, and I hear them talking about it. Anyway, um... You have to understand that this is not good. This man plans on taking your rights and my rights away. Like, he wants to stay in office. He wants to be like this dictator. And there's a prophecy that he's going to be the last president. And I gave you that prophecy probably a year or two ago. And I believe, in my opinion, he's going to be the last president. I basically asked Jesus, is this man planning on something big to stay in office? Is he going to stay in office? The Lord said that um, if he stays in office, that is at the discretion of him. Um, he is a judgment tool that God is using against America. That's true. And uh, if he stays in office, the Lord said that he would have to use a major crisis to do that. And that is exactly what he plans on doing. He plans on using a major crisis to stay in office. Whether it is a, whether it is something climate related, um, whether it's something like a hurricane, like I said, which just has to do with the climate or an earthquake or volcanic eruption or say, God forbid, an asteroid hits or let's say if it's even to do with... Um, I don't know, let's see if it's something to do with uh, war, escalation of war. This man plans on staying in office. I don't know if you're noticing, but the GOP candidates that they had started out with at least 10, 9 or 10, maybe more. You don't notice that they're dropping in numbers? Doesn't that seem strange that they're dropping off one by one by one? I don't believe there's going to be an election, guys. It's, I'm not stating this fact, that's just my opinion. Okay? That's my opinion. If there is, that'll be a miracle. 
God didn't reveal to me if there's going to be another election, okay? But he told me that he plans on doing something to stop the elections. That Obama plans on doing something to stop the elections. I'm going to continue to pray about this to the Lord. And if he tells me something, otherwise I will let you know. But the Lord said for his people to be ready, to be prepared. Because Obama plans, he plans to suspend elections. And I had a dream that he did it. I had a dream that he did it. And the thing about it in the dream, the reason, the, the reason why the dream was sent to me, because the Lord said it means that he was showing me what Obama plans to do. He was showing me in his heart, what he, what, in Obama's heart, what he plans to do. But the thing is, in the dream, I wasn't given too much because when Obama was speaking, I only heard um, when he said that he had to suspend elections, dissolve Congress, and dissolve the Constitution. But then it's like he kept speaking. And I was trying to hear what he was saying in the dream, and I couldn't. He was explaining why he was suspending the elections. He was saying, I have to resort to these measures because, and then his voice went silent. So I don't think I was meant to hear that just yet, you know. But the Lord said he was showing me what he plans on doing, what Obama plans on doing. Obama plans on canceling the elections, dissolving Congress, and suspending, man, suspending the Constitution. So I didn't mean to take too long in this message, but the Lord told me to warn his people, to warn his sheep, and that's what I'm doing. This is what I think, ladies and gentlemen. If something wasn't going to happen, then I wouldn't be told to warn you. Whenever a warning goes out, that means that something's going to happen. That God is using servants like me to prepare his people. For what's to come. The Lord said you'll know what to do when that time comes. So pray ladies and gentlemen. Um, prepare for what's to come because he plans on doing this. He, Obama plans on suspending the elections. You, you guys, you know, you guys need to pray about this. You guys need to ask God if what I tell you is true. I, I can't force you to believe me. It's just, if you observe Obama's behaviors, the decisions he's been making, how he intentionally is weakening America, and just how he's always going against Congress, how he's always doing these criminal acts, these decisions he makes to not, to refuse to pass a bill to upgrade America's military defense capabilities. That doesn't make any sense. And opening the borders... Letting in refugees that he says he can't screen and he's not sure if they're terrorists or not. I mean, that if that doesn't tell you in your face, okay, that he's sending Muslim terrorists here or he's sending, he's doing a silent invasion. That he's trying to weaken America, then I don't know what will. I mean, this president's making decisions that make no kind of sense. They're just not normal. Turning off defense systems in, north, in the northeastern part of the country and the southwestern that's strategic and it's not normal. He's intentionally weakening America. He wants to make the people vulnerable, you know. Talking about taking away your, your right to bear arms? That's ridiculous. That man be, that man is <laughs> you might as well call that man a dictator now. He's already doing dictatorial actions. Absolute actions. He's doing act actions that are remnants of a dictator, even right now. He's doing that. If he goes to Congress with a specific law and Congress doesn't give him the answer he wants, he says, oh, well, too bad. I'm going to do it anyway. I don't need you. All we got to do is just sign an executive order and that's it. God told me to tell you people to prepare. So take this to him in prayer and just get in your prayer closets and you better make sure that everybody in your household and your family are saved and just get your house in order.